All right, and hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox Fight here, and we are back for some more of the Yokai Wars 3 Let's Play. And if you did miss out there on the last one, well, we have a new Yokai on our team, known as Treater, or AKA known as a, a well for our online friend, is going to be with Super Saiyan Blue Lucario. And if you haven't went and checked out our Super Saiyan Blue Lucario's channel, make sure that you guys go and do it. He is an awesome content creator and does some good stuff there. So if you ever have the time to, make sure that you guys go and do it. Uh, but for right now, here in this episode for today, we actually do have um Usapon's story which we're gonna have to go and help out with and we have to go and look for his supposed i think friend known as dr Healy. i wouldn't really call him as a friend because uh since we're gonna be learning about Usapon's backstory it seems like he was actually met as a test subject and i guess that's the reason why that dr Healy was i guess somewhat friendly to him because uh they needed to uh for him to get blasted off into space which unfortunately we're gonna be hearing that there was some disasters that was happening around within the rocket ship incident and that is the reason why that Usapion actually became uh, somewhat of a yokai after the incident somewhat that kind of had like some bit of a occurrence of like somewhat of like Jabonyon right we already kind of learned about the backstory of Jabonyon from before about what happened with uh, within his side on that part there but uh, now what is going to happen here is that we have to look around with this park off list to search for this Dr. Hewley person. And uh, I wouldn't really be all that too surprised to go and literally search around over here for Dr. Hewley because I don't know if he is a type of person that likes to go to these anime conventions here. Because uh, currently right now that's the reason why that uh, Silver or aka okay, uh, Haley Ann wanted to show up here just to go and find that figurine. Which it seems like right now that Usapon actually has that, uh, that actual figurine figurine that uh, if we go and potentially help him out here we may probably have that figurine with us and we could be able to keep that so that'd be interesting right there so i guess we'll have to go and head into this little cafe area first and maybe he's probably in here well i don't know <laughs> but it seems like unfortunately that's going to be kind of a dud because uh, we're not going to be able to go and search for uh, him in here at this point in time right now but now we get to go and learn a little bit about more of uh, Usapion. Seems like uh, he was somewhat of like an outcast, I guess, or somewhat within the place that he was at while uh, while Dr. Hewley was there in that place there. But um, I don't know if I already went and said this, but uh, in these two videos for today, we are doing Persona 4. We are going to have to go and head off into uh, Yukiko's castle, and uh, we're going to have to... Uh, move on into the shadow side of where yukiko is going to be now since we do have the glass key at this point from the mini boss so uh hopefully with crossing our fingers we can at least get ourselves all accomplished for what we do need uh we do have an expiration date of april 29th so if we don't do that after the fact after april 29th that can lead to some major consequences and hopefully uh, we're not going to be uh running into that type of situation but i know that currently right now i think we're already okay as it is uh we're gonna have to probably do some off record uh, buying up some items and other things as well so we're gonna probably at least maybe come back around in the april 27th area for the next day and then at least uh continue onwards from our direction from there now uh, this episode is going to be fairly short but that's just because that i just kind of wanted to just kind of just do some quick editing just so that you guys don't have to see me kind of just walk from one place to the next because it does take a little bit of some time around over here at sparkopolis and unfortunately the sad thing is is that uh if you guys don't know about yokai watch right now uh at this point in time is that normally mirror posts don't really show up until like somewhat of like halfway into an actual yokai watch game so we're going to kind of have to wait a little bit of some time so there is going to be quite a bit of some editing if uh there is going to be a certain objective that is going to take us like a really long while to reach all the way over to there is now uh i did go and uh, do a, a certain new live stream for monster hunter stories and uh if you guys haven't went and checked out that episode for our time for today is that i actually used the brand new uh like i want to say feature that i went and had on my 3ds capture card which i can actually change around with the different codecs and there's actually a codec where you can actually uh go and be able to use and it's known as the Legorith lossless codec which that actually keeps the pixelation intact while you're actually doing a stream which i think that's actually really cool and uh it actually has like everything exactly as how the way you want it there's no distortion within the pixelation while i'm playing through the game or anything it's really nice to go and have and uh, not only that but within having that type of special codec 
You can also make the uh, actual 3DS go to 1080p with 60 frames per second on it. Normally, natively on a 3DS, you would normally never even get 30. Well, you would normally ever even get 60 frames per second. Normally, it's always 30. But to go and see a 3DS that is a pass-through with having the cable of a 3DS capture card that's actually running with 60 frames per second is absolutely amazing. And I think that is such a cool thing to go and have. And uh, if you guys have went and checked out with that uh, latest live stream, and oh man, who's the following? is getting angry once again i have to say i feel sorry for silver every time it's a good thing that i'm not gonna be uh, uh well having to go and use uh use silver on that too much here within this story because i think for what is gonna happen here with me for yokai watch there is is that we're able to go and uh choose between the two different stories of uh of what's gonna happen next uh because we can actually have an option of us heading on into with more innate story or we can actually go and head into more of silver story and i think what i'm gonna personally do is maybe kind of just stick with probably with nate's story i think for right now but you guys can let me know uh about what your guys opinions are for me i I think I'm going to just be more so of Nate's story because I always kind of like uh, knowing a little bit more about what's going on at his side, but I don't really know too much about with Haley yet, though. I'll probably have to do some research on my own to see which type of story is like somewhat better in, in some aspects, but... But it's pretty cool that, that here in Yokai Watch 3, we can actually have our own type of like uh, separate stories. Maybe that's the reason why that they give you so many different amount of save files here within this game so that like if you do want to go and just continue just with one story and you want to just go and just stick with uh, with like let's say with Nate for the remainder of the game then that's what you can go and do and if you want to go and stay with the remainder of uh, a silver story then you can also do that but on another save file but oh, totally but we got ourselves another one of these little mini games here of course having to go through another one of these eating mini games but at least we got ourselves with uh, some bonuses though. Hey, we got ourselves with a stamina alpha one. So that's pretty nice. I think that's what that was, right? So now we get to have a nice good little conversation out here with the family. Anyway. Right? Thank you. Well, they did have some really good yummy food, man. And uh, I know that uh, during the last episode, I did say that when, when I saw like all that meat there and everything, I actually went and uh, had my own type of uh, my own type of steak during uh, during the last episode. Yeah, so now I'm not hungry for any type of meat now. <laughs> Already had it. Yes. So it looks like uh, Whisper and Javanyan are now gonna finally call uh, this area BBQ now finally their home. But we'll have to go and find a little bit of some more for another time then, because it seems like we are going to be jumping into another chapter at some point, but for whichever type of character that we choose for the next chapter. So it seems like uh, currently right now, it looks like Silver has probably found out exactly where uh, where Dr. Hewley is going to be located at. It seems like he's going to be located over at some sort of hospital. Yusupon literally thinks that uh, Dr. Hewley may have probably got himself injured or something, but maybe he's probably just uh, a doctor now or something there. <laughs> but anyways, we'll have to find that out for another time as well, too. But now, since everything is being continued, we don't know who this type of guy is. He seems like some sort of shady dude out here. He's like an orca. Huh. An orca yokai. Interesting. He looks pretty adorable, though. <laughs> I wouldn't really know if he is going to be someone of the main bad guy or not. <laughs> About this next Y file. Do you want to hear my take, Folly? Not particularly. So, yep, so now we actually do have the option to now go and choose between the two stories now. So there we go, so there's chapter two, the boy buck and a rocket full of hope. The two type of chapters that we could go and jump on into next. But anyways, see you guys in the next one, and probably let me know about which one that you guys want me to go and do as well too. So of course, see you guys then, and peace.